Extreme Outer Limits is presented by Night Force Optics. Precision optics for precision shooting. Welcome back to Extreme Outer Limits. For the next two weeks episodes, we are gonna be back here on the Zuni Reservation in New Mexico. Uh, Chris and I are back here from 2019. 19. We also have a new addition to the Extreme Outer Limits family. <laughs> She's about a nine month old at Basenji and her name is Maya. So if you guys see Chris's arm pulling out a socket and maybe some curse words or some who knows what, it'll probably be related to the puppy. She's, she's a little bit of work, but uh, it, we have to try it, right? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're treating her like she's a little human, so we'll see how she turns out. Anyway, okay, back to the Zuni. So, the 2019, we had an epic hunt out here. Um, you know, our main guide is Alton. He's got his son and his nephews that are part of his guide crew. Uh, we're working with a couple good folks, Cody and Mark, with the uh, Zuni Game and Fish Department, and they've been gracious enough to have Extreme Iron Limits out here yet again. In 2019, as I've said before, we we're able to harvest a bull that just broke the 380 mark. So before we get going on this hunt, uh, we'd like to take you back, kind of a stroll down memory lane. That was a really big bull. It's something that's worth watching again. So we're gonna hit the glass and uh, start our hunt and see what we can turn up. So stay with us. We've made our way down to New Mexico. We are here with Alton and we are on the Zuni Indian Reservation. Uh, our goal is trophy elk. This reservation has actually much better than average quality, can actually put out some exceptional, you know, near big, big number bull elk. So that's what's brought us all the way down here. Chris is not hunting, it's just me this time, but maybe in the future you'll get your turn at it. But uh, it's still fun to come along. Yeah, well, that's, that's kind of what brought you. You figured you'd brave the four days on the road, two days each way, to come and hopefully see and be part of killing a big bull. So anyway, uh, I think our game plan from what I understand Alton is, we're probably gonna do some hiking, look for some tracks, try to locate that way. Yes. We'll probably do some driving and get on some high points and do some glassing, huh? Yes. All right guys, it should be an exciting hunt and uh, we'll get started, get this fog cleared off hopefully soon and then we'll start showing you guys some big bulls. day and we finally spotted a shooter the problem is we can't shoot him <laughs> he's exactly one mile from where we are it's windy and he's in an area that he we actually can't shoot him just wrong side of a fence type of deal so all we 
get to do is watch him till sundown and maybe just maybe he'll make his way one way or the other and get out of there and try to come back and find him tomorrow but he's a giant bull huge beams huge mass This segment is brought to you by the Night Force NX-8 4-32x50 rifle scope, featuring a high-speed zero-stop turret, a 30mm tube allowing for 90 minutes of adjustment, and ED glass, producing superior image quality at high magnification. The new Zeiss Victory RF laser range-finding binocular provides you accurate ranges and ballistic corrections from 11 to 2,500 yards. A fully customizable ballistics platform, Bluetooth connectivity, and a phenomenal binocular all in a compact and lightweight unit. The new Zeiss Victory RF is EOL's range finder of choice. All right, guys, well, it's our... Well, no, that's not true. We could sneak in a morning hunt tomorrow. I was going to say it's our last full day of hunting, but we, we could pull off a half day tomorrow, too. Um, it's it's happening right now. I just, uh, I, we just spotted a bull down here, which is a really big 6x7. And then we just spotted another amazingly long-beamed 6-point. Um, I think the idea is that we'll but probably watch them and get an idea where they're gonna stop because they're pushing cows. Mm -hmm. And then whichever one stops in the most favorable area, I'm thinking we're gonna probably drop off this and go go after. It's definitely getting to that point in the hunt where it's time to punch this tag. So uh, hopefully we can stay on them and make it happen. There he is, there he is, Yvonne. Get on, get on. There he is. No, got him there. Got him. That one hit him good. Yeah. We got one in him. Good. I have to give him a second, sneak up there and see. He's down. He's down right now. We'll move in slow. He's down though. I don't know what happened. He just sucked him up, I guess. <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> beautiful bull. Oh Holy gosh. cow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had a horn in the butt. Holy cow. <laughs> um, <laughs> look at that, guys. <laughs> oh, wow. Tell us a little bit about it. I mean, obviously there's always stories that could be bigger, but how does yeah. he, I mean, this is pretty, Pretty respectable, I'm thinking. Oh yeah, I mean we've seen it from the first day. Yeah. Passing them up on the first day, and then the end of day four, which had been yesterday, we seen a tank. Um, probably a little more mass than this bull. Oh, yeah. Um, different configuration, not as long. No. But heavy, and he had extra fours on both sides. Um, and we just were not going to be able to shoot where he was. But lo and behold, look who shows back up, Mr. Longbeams. <laughs> <laughs> so we circled around and caught the only other little high point out here and then perched up on that tripod and did a makeshift shot and here we are so what a bull this bull has got by far the longest beams of any elk I've ever killed he's super strong in his fours and fives um, you know his front end is probably fairly average um, but I'm thinking that back end makes up for it and he's just an absolutely beautiful bull 
So, man, I I can't I can't thank you enough, buddy. I mean, first time being out here in the Zuni Reservation in New Mexico. Uh, they've absolutely taken care of us. Every single hunt, every morning and every evening, we'd see a bull. Even if it was something we weren't looking at, we'd still see something. Hey, it all is worth it now. We're gonna hang our tag on a giant. So, I think we've met the mark on this time, guys. So, thanks for staying with us. We'll see you guys next time. This segment is brought to you by the Extreme Store, now offering optics, bullets, and accessories for all your hunting needs. For more information, visit theextremestore.us. This segment is brought to you by Trigger Tech Triggers. With the most advanced technology in the industry, Trigger Tech Triggers offer the most precise, consistent, and dependable triggers for your rifle. On the range or in the mountains. This segment of Extreme Outer Limits is brought to you by the all-new Extreme Heavy Hybrid line of Burger Bullets. Extreme. Rated best in class. Ballistic coefficient. Heavy. Delivers the greatest amount of kinetic energy per caliber. Hybrid. Will extend the effective range of your rifle. Go to the Extreme store to get yours today. 2019 was a great year on the Zuni. There was multiple really good sized bulls and we were able to eventually connect on a bull that had a 59 and a 60 inch beam with really long tines and he just broke the 380 inch mark. It was a great hunt. Now come along with us on our 2021 hunt. Frame-wise, he's big, big. Yeah. Only problem, he's going to that fence line, the private. Well, he's following the cow that way. Yeah. I mean, we ought to go at least get near it and see if it's worth. I mean, the bull is big, <laughs> like way big. I mean, yeah, I've seen the frame. Maybe you can tell the mass. Yeah, he's he's legit. I think he's wide. Well guys, it's our first official morning here at the Zuni Reservation in New Mexico. We're here with Alton and Channing and uh, we have been glassing about 20 minutes, you know, kind of in that transitional light where it's, the sun's not quite up, but you can see all the way into now the sun is crested. In this valley, we've probably already glassed up 60 or 70 elk in total, but Spinning here to the south and looking way down the valley, there is a bull that just looks entirely in a different league than the rest of them. So we are going to throw our stuff in the truck. We're going to try to cut the distance in about half, get up on a high point and look at him a little closer. We're just too far to put any real definition to him. So we got to close the distance. So come on. We just got everything out, hiked up to the first hill, only to realize that the bull is over this next hill. So we've got about 700 yards, 800 yards to get up on top of this in hopes that he's on the other side of that. Alton could catch a glimpse here or there of some elk running around uh, in a couple gaps up here. 
from the other side, so he's assuming that they're running from that big bull, pushing them around. So we're gonna get up here in these trees, which is gonna give us some elevation, give us a vantage, hopefully, get a better look at this bull. This segment is brought to you by the Extreme Store, now offering an exclusive McMillan Game Hunter Universal Inlet Stock, capable of accepting all Remington clone actions in a wide variety of barrel contours. For more information, visit www.extremestore.us. This segment of Extreme Outer Limits was brought to you by the Extreme Shooting School, an information-packed two-day class. For more information, go to extremeouterlimitstv.com. This segment is brought to you by MOA Rifles, now offering their Extreme Series actions. Built with long-range performance in mind, MOA actions are constructed to handle the most advanced bullet and cartridge combinations on the market. For information, visit MOARifles.com. Okay, guys, well, it's about 9.30 which doesn't seem that late, but with the full moon and now the heat coming, the elk have decided to lay down. We, uh, this is a little recap. We started out at the perch that overlooks this valley that these guys like. We've we filmed there a lot. So a lot of the views and angles and bulls you guys have seen on the show have been from that perch. Anyway, we ended up picking up this bull probably two and a half miles, I'm gonna say, to the south. He was kind of by himself when I picked him out. We uh, gathered everybody up, took a look at him, decided he looked like a giant. We hustled as fast as we could to get to where we are now. It was a little bit of a pickup ride and then three quarter mile hustle across the prairie to get up on this bluff where we could see. And sure enough, about one mile, three quarters of a mile, one mile away. They're on the next bluff and you could kind of see him moving around, eventually laying down. Uh, we're thinking he's just bedded up and it's gonna be what it's gonna be for the balance of the day. So because the days are still long, we'll probably head back, have lunch, take a nap, whatever, pull out of here, and then come back in the evening. And hopefully those elk, they're not that far off the valley floor where they bedded. It's a little ways away, you know, even say to this fence I'm looking at that out there's 1160s so we kind of need them to not only come out so we can confirm he's as good as we think he is but we need him to kind of move out here a little bit get into a little bit better shot range so got our hands full for the evening made the trek over to the same group of trees that we were at here this morning. There it was two groups of elk this morning. The group of elk that does not have our bull in it is already getting up. There's a couple spikes and a cow moving. We need to be looking a ridge to the south in order to be seeing where the bull was that I got excited about. It doesn't appear that any of those elk are up yet, so. It's pretty early, it's only 5.30, it doesn't get dark till after eight, so we'll be probably packing it in right here in hopes that we start to see some elk and that they start to funnel down in this valley. Um, so we're set, we're ready, you can hear the wind. It's just gonna be a glassers game right now for a while. filmed a lot of bulls coming over the ridge, which is right to the script, but none of them are our, our boy. The last three that just come, two of the three are broke. So we kind of been joking that maybe they tangled up with him, but one's got a right antler break, one's got a left antler break, um, but they're still elk funneling right at us. But the moon is up, it is about ready to get dark. So within minutes, of signing off here will be concluding for the day. There is my chance to actually shoot on the first day of a hunt. I thought it might happen. I actually wasn't even opposed to it because if for you guys that watch the show all the time, 
You know, I usually go to about the last hour of the last day, almost every single episode. I was kind of looking forward to shooting on the first day. <laughs> the fact that we seen a shooter on the first day, I thought, wow, this is really gonna come together. No such luck. I'm cursed. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'll quit rambling, so. Unless we see something here in just a second, we'll be checking in with you guys in the morning. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in next week as we continue our 2021 Zuni Reservation elk hunt and see how this one shakes out. Extreme Outer Limits, brought to you by McMillan Stocks, Rugged Ridge Outdoor Gear, Night Force Optics, Grip and Pull, the best bullet puller in the world, MOA Rifles, Star Valley Outfitters, and Broken Top Outfitters. And also brought to you by 